Hey there, I'm Chaz Tacular, and welcome to Call of the Sea. I don't know why I looked up there, because that's exactly where the title is, given my eyeline. So this is the earlier title by Out of the Blue Games, the same studio that did American Arcadia, which I really enjoyed. So I'm excited to see what's going on here. Let's do this. No. Okay. No. What? What was that? What are those voices? Prologue of Family Heirloom. I appear to be underwater. And I can swim. Neat. Well, I'm gonna go this way since it seems to be forward. We got a fish statue. Um, Where am I? Huh. So I can't see a way out. I mean, there's a light that way. But, like, I seem to be in a cave. And I appear to be able to breathe underwater. So, that's useful. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say that I'm dreaming right now. I doubt this is actually happening. I wonder if I can swim faster. I know this place. I've been here before. Okay, now the sprint button does not allow me to swim faster. There's I've a, been here my entire life. There's a random table. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. Yeah, this has to be a dream or something. Ooh. Hello. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to oh, get yeah, it. Oh yeah, it's probably to... broken since it's underwater. Uh, 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 uh. Those Hello. horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. Huh. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. I was oh, about to say uh, this looks like so a boat. Thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Okay, so. All right, time to gather my things. I am a strange, diseased woman on a boat, and I can't I hardly see anything. So much when we moved to Denver. And uh, she lived in Denver at one point. Cool. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. So Nora Everhart on the SS Carmel. Expected to arrive at P Papati Tahiti, November 1st, 1934, from San Francisco. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. Okay, so if she used it's to be exactly like really. Not exactly a foot tub, but you can't always get what you want. So yeah, if she used to use a cane, she she was doing pretty bad, I guess. Merveille du Mer du Sud, marvels of the southern seas, I think. So where, where is Tahiti? I mean, my knowledge of geography and history, I, I would like to say, is better than the average, average bear. All right, a 1934 ah, diary. The amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. Art teacher, okay. Ooh, I have a diary. Curious things from my journey. Nora, remember this. So she used to live at... 506 somewhere. Oh, there we go. Log. November 1st, 1934. I've finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be a tough row to hoe. I think I must have walked all over pa Papete asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place, 74 miles east of Tahiti, 
Some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. Uh, he knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hodgson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th, 1934. After three days of begging, I've managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Mrs. Everhart. Leaving me alone will be payment enough. I think he's a sweet, tender heart inside that grumpy old sailor. Okay, I guess that's a picture of her with the crew. Assuming Nora is the lady from the main menu, of course. So, can, are there other pages? Oh, wow. So how far back does this go? Okay, so it looks like it starts in July 6, 1934. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in the postal service. July 14th. Last night, I had another of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk rose up before a mist-shrouded mountain. I woke up drenched in sweat. September 16th. I keep waking up to odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry, and it's been three months already. Damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing and I can barely walk for a couple minutes without getting exhausted. October 10th. An enigmatic sentence written on a photo of my husband. An ancient stone relic that looks like a knife. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. All three were in a package I received yesterday. Postmarked Tahiti. No sender. Find him. 74 Modical Niles east of Otaheite. After leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Otaheite was just the ancient name of Tahiti, the same place the package came from. What does all this mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to give it everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. October 14th. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison Building, I found that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmel. Tahiti again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air on the sea breeze, but I feel much better. October 19th. First, I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy. Or cheap, either. October 23rd. I missed the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. And then we get to the part where she arrived at Tahiti. Some locals mentioned the island. Captain Hodgson took her out on a whaler called the Lady Shannon. Okay, so I guess that's what she's on now. Neat. I got some gloves. Just to cover up. I cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Uh, there's a locked suitcase somewhere, I guess. <laughs> I love this song. I hope it's not copyrighted. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always uh, bring my journal with me to write things down. Was it 502? 506. You know what, I'm gonna turn that off just on the off chance that it is copyrighted. There we go. All right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Looks like some kind of knife. A really weird, like, somehow both futuristic and ancient knife. Interesting. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. Very interesting. Okay. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. That looks kind of like a key. 
I guess. I, I guess I'm not taking a change of clothes. That's cool. What was I thinking when I brought man. all these dresses Nothing on this trip? Ready. Okay. I guess that's hmm. pretty much everything. I think I've overpacked. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Leaving the cabin. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. A family heirloom. That's the name of the achievement that just popped up. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lad. Okay. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please right. be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Off into the unknown. Chapter 1, 74 miles east of Otaheite. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. All right. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you. But suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. No, well, that's not creepy at all. Everything is familiar. More suspicious. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. I would say it probably is the island you dreamed about. Kind of weird that there are like these giant letters up on this mountainside. I mean, other than that eyesore, it's a pretty beautiful island. Why is there a key on the mountainside? And why does it seem to poke through the clouds? A Man. idyllic island. Surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Well, I'm not here to answer those sorts of questions. I'm just here to find my husband. So it looks like this might be where Harry's expedition landed. I guess. I don't know. Can I get out of the boat now, please? Thank you. It's like the game read my mind. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. Seems to be a signpost of... or something. Some kind of little... dude. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got a path that leads off that way. Got a gate. And it looks like another path. But I would like to look at this. Huh, those look like truck tracks. So somebody was on this island recently. Indeed it seems. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. That's cool. Oh, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. They play it with their nose? How does that work? I would love to see uh, a video of that. That looks like a scabbard. Like a ma machete scabbard. Hey, there's a machete! This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. Huh. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Ill and mort. Island and death. Where is ill and mort? I can't see them. Oh, ill and mort. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't read. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Yeah, possibly. The game still won't let me sprint just yet. I'm pretty sure there was a... There's a sprint key in the... Options. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. I think I did that with a shell when I was a kid. Except there was more like one of these sort of shells. Rather than one of those. It looks like it opens from the other side. Of course it does! Why wouldn't it? Rule beans. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Sprint unlocked. But what is this? These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. 
Right. Okay. So obviously we got we got big big dude with with a forehead tattoo, and then these eight guys decided to do a little dance over the mountain island, and uh, this guy down here felt really lonely and left out. So yeah, uh, good good story. Good story. Oh, it looks like it might uh might have a sequel over here, a two-parter if you will. Right. So then uh, we got the forehead tattoo guy again with a slightly different expression on his face, I think. So then these two dudes decided to uh, make some barbed wire. Oh no! Duh! Those are obviously those, uh, those spiky spikes over there. Right, so these dudes set up the spikes on the, on the shoreline and this squid guy, he got kind of mad so he gargled and then, then these four dudes uh, decided to do some like something atomic uh, around the squid guy as he was gargling and then uh, these two guys down here were lonely and felt left out but hey at least they're together a bone fish hook that's a weird color bone probably just the lighting okay well, let's see what this is that is a floating particle of something that is a nice boulder I like that boulder I like that boulder that is a nice boulder. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. What a lovely flower offering. Flowers. Okay. Those are some really big bones. I wonder what was off in the other direction. Except this might be a dead end up here. Looks like it might be. Okay, so face tattoo guy. Again, I, I guess he's like, he's the storyteller. He's the witness. The the homer to this odyssey, if you will. These four dudes were like, hey, let's like dangle another dude, like go bungee jumping over the gargling sea monster. So they did. And the other two guys got joined by a third dude. And then uh, over here, we got these three guys uh, wanted to go up. And this dude over here with the triangle for a heart, he was like, what? And so then a dude hopped on a boat and sailed away from the island. And, and a fourth guy joined joined the three. The three became four. After that happened, we got two dudes with, or three dudes with right, rectangle hearts. And they, they were watching the guy with the triangle heart on the boat, but then lightning struck. And so then all the dudes hopped on boats and went back to the island. And then the, the four became five. So then what, what had happened was a bunch of dudes with rectangle hearts like six of them to be precise, decided that they wanted to go to the left toward toward these dudes with, with sticks sticking out of their armpits. And so then uh, all the guys got together, well, four of them, four of the six, and put like boards around the gargling sea monster. From what so. I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? That is an excellent question, Nora. That looks like it might open it. Hmm. Something's missing here. Ooh. Ooh, I have notes! So the lever mechanism is missing its cover. Okay, so I can't just continue forward. Well, that did something. Yes, it did. Very astute. But then this one's missing its cover, so it can't do the same. So I can't get through the door. How Is that... has that been there the whole time? Did I miss that? What? Someone carved my name in the back of this Unu. Okay. That's not creepy at all. A carving tool. Cool, cool. This box. CW. CW? Those are the initials on the brass key. Well, let's stick the key in. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Okay. Yeah, the cover... I guess it's behind the flowers. It's starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. So I guess the cover is back over here, maybe? Don't look like none back here. Well, look what's hidden here. I found it! It's a mushroom! I found the mushroom, guys! Okay, before, before I keep going that way, I want to go see what's back in this direction, because... Like I said in my playthrough of American Arcadia, while uh, Trevor was uh, off his gourd, sometimes I go the wrong way. No, sometimes I go the right way. I don't know what I'm saying. 
Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Yes, indeed. Okay, so those represent the sea. Neat. All right, so I guess I was saying sometimes I'll go the way that looks less obvious because I just want to explore all the nooks and crannies. And then that ends up being the right way that it wanted me to go. And then I miss out on side content. So this time I decided to go this way because it looked obvious that this was the way forward. Thinking that I would have to go back. Um, but after finding the mushroom by those flowers, I figured I better go back now if I want to at all. Hope that made sense somewhat. Put the mushroom on the little tiki thing and pull the lever, Kronk. Pull the lever, Kronk. And the door opens deeper into the jungle. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. But is there such a thing as private property on cursed Polynesian islands that don't even have a name? Okay, yeah, looks like somebody was definitely here. Is that Harry? Hey! Harry, you were here. Harry was here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Contract Lady Shannon? Passage. That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Yeah, the Lady Shannon was the, uh, wait. Was the Lady Shannon the ship that she booked to get here? Or was that the name of the ship that Perry was on? Six people, fragile instruments. Several boxes with equipment, weapons and explosives, supplies for three weeks. Well, that picture was labeled June. November 6th, 1934. I arrived on the mysterious island 74 miles east of Tahiti. The fishermen will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you, dear old pal. That's strange. Polynesians don't use doors, much less mechanisms to protect a door. If I want to reach the inner island, I've got to open it. Nora dear, this is no ordinary island. I needed the key I received in the mysterious package to enter the island. What does this mean? Harry was on this island, and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with all the expedition members, and I think I vaguely recognize some of them from the letters he sent me. But where did they go? Did they set up camp somewhere? The Everhart Expedition, June 24th, 1934. Okay, so that was the Lady Shannon. So where was the... Hold up. Island dream drawing. Okay, so she's adding things into the... No, it says that following Harry's trail... So in the Madison building, I found that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carmel. Oh, but that's Nora Everhart is reported on our steamship SS Carmel. Okay, so the SS Carmel must be the passenger liner. Six passages. Okay, so the SS Carmel sailed from San Francisco to Tahiti... And then, I guess, when Nora arrived in Tahiti, she met Captain Hodgson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship is, took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. Okay, so the Lady Shannon is the book that then Harry took from Tahiti to, the, to this island. So, I don't know the name of Captain Hodgson's boat. Cool. Glad I got that cleared up. Yes, I got a path that way, and I got a path this way. This doesn't really look like a, a path per se. Bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. I mean, would a crew of like... Oh, I found a missing piece to the open door. It opened the entrance to a mangrove swamp in the inner island. I'm cut off from the heart of the island by a strange mechanical bridge over a river. Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. So would a, would a group of six people have the time from June to November to build all of this? Or was this here long before then? Okay, this has to have something to do with the bridge. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. The Polynesian version. Yeah, there's the sea. Try making them all the sea. Sea. Not that one. Some sailors went to see, 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 to see what they could see, 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 but all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. See? Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Is it the fresh air, Nora? Is it? This is a very different experience from American Arcadia. 
What are, what are you? What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Aha! Mountains! Okay, so we got mountains, sea. Ah, yes! I see. I need to stop saying C. You know C is the first letter of my name? Okay, uh, what is, what is this here? Got another this thingamajig. This is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Okay, so like fish. Okay. So we got a board that goes off this way. I'm gonna go see what's through the creepy tree tunnel. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what huh. were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Lorikeets. Oh, we got a lot of symbols over here. It's all over the place. Can I open this thing from this side now? I think so. That's convenient. Hey, hey! Oh, I guess this would have been where it makes the most sense for me to go and see what's over there. Hey, lorikeet, what are you doing? What there you... are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir. If it's such a lovely souvenir, why'd you put it back on the ground? So that's a lorikeet? How would I... How would any normal person intuit that that's the symbol for a lorikeet? Just randomly based on the fact that they happen to congregate around that one. That's so random. And not like the Disney Channel show. We got a little pool of water here that has an invisible wall. Cool. You know, as you do. Okay, well. Neat. Let's go back this way. Now that I've crossed the half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. I'm assuming old pal is Henry. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Again, how would how would that how would you intuit that? It's so specific. You you just you just you're you're assuming. Whatever. This Nora must be a better explorer than me. I'm just here for the ride. I'm just here for the free food if we find any. Okay, and then this wraps the around back up here. Denser here in this mangrove swamp. Yeah, I feel like it would be in a swamp. Did I miss anything? Was there anything back this way? No. So is that everything? Okay. So how am I supposed to figure out what the combination for the bridge is? Because there were a lot of symbols. I mean, if I tried to brute force this thing, that would be nuts. That's not a symbol that I have. Hold up. We got mountains, sun, fish, water, or the sea, and lorikeet. That's not a symbol that I have. That's the lorikeet, right? Yeah, okay, so we got the lorikeet, mountains, that I don't have. If I had to guess, that might be like a person? I don't know, I'm just guessing the same way Nora would. Let's just try them in the order they appear in the journal. That makes sense, I guess. As much sense as anything. And then the lorikeet. And nothing. There's gotta be like some sort of hint or, or a clue, even. And I don't think that has anything to do with it. Go back through the mysterious door. Okay, do you guys have anything to tell me? Yeah, these symbols seem unrelated. I don't know. Okay, so we got these flowers. What a lovely flower offering. And this one has like a rope around it or some something. Uh, I don't see anything helpful here at all. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating. No matter how harsh the truth. Did people date in the 1930s or the 1920s? I don't know how long they've been married. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I, I, I was under the impression that people courted back in the day. I'm not finding any hint of what could possibly be the order. Unless it has something to do with this. Oh! Okay, I can bring up easier to read stuff over here. Okay, so I think that says something about birds. Our birds or your birds. Profane. Something about the island and death. Okay, well, uh, good talk. That's the only thing over here is the, the sea. 
markings. Okay, so let's go back to the Lorikeet Sanctuary. Because there were a ton of those things over there. A couple with the different symbols that I haven't seen before. Okay, what do we got? So you look like a crown. That looks like the C. It's like a infinity. That looks like an E. Oh, there's that symbol. What does that symbol mean? That, that one's on the on the mechanism. That looks like kind of, kind of like an eye, maybe. That looks like a different kind of eye. And that symbol is also on the thing, but I can't click on them. What do I do? I feel like I've got to be missing something. This is ridiculous. Okay, so those are the ones that I figured out. But there's also this one and this one that I haven't figured out. Okay, bear with me here. So we got the sun is the source of all life. So we'll do that one first. Then we've got the ocean, which is where the fish live. And then birds eat the fish and fly off to the mountain. Nope. Hey, what could I possibly be missing? Okay, it won't let me walk off the edge. But if the water's running that way, that's kind of weird. Oh, what the heck? There's a there's a thing here. Look at that. So we got sun, birds, mountain, sea, fish. Okay, okay. I wasn't too far off with my last one, with the with the reasoning. Okay, so sun, birds, mountain, fish. No, sea and then fish. I guess I hit the jackpot. Hey! That's my ticket across the river then. There we go. And across we go. Hey, it's hey, hey. Oh, this looks pretty solid. Okay, deeper into the jungle. See what's what. What's going on? Dun, 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 dun. And we fade to black. 74 miles east of Ota Haite. Completed chapter one. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. All right, chapter two, the Everheart Expedition. Wow, what is this place? Well, it looks like a village. I better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Whoa, that's interesting. What are these uh, little fish face dudes? This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. I'm sorry. There's an elevator on a 1930s Polynesian island. Hmm, something missing here. What? Okay. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. A tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. The Everhart Expedition. They set up camp here. Oh. Wow, they had like a logo and everything. Nice. So Harry was trying to find a cure for her disease, which was somehow tied to a cursed music box. Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Uh, I mean, maybe, I guess. They're not doing a very good job of guarding me or protecting you against me. You know what I mean. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? He's warning us about those ruins. He says there's some sort of forbidden ritual took place here. Interesting. Fascinating. These ancient geometric stone structures are not Polynesian. What purpose did they serve? Yeah, uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. They didn't seem very Polynesian to me. Oh! Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes, some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot. Less than an hour had gone. I went suddenly. My va'a, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it, but it seemed like a sea creature I never seen. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that white sand beach, the one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later, 
and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. Time passed, and I promised myself that I would go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island, then? I need to know what happened to me to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm assuming that was the Polynesian guy. I think she was probably interviewing him, if I had to guess there. Figured out the symbols that were needed to open the bridge. The sun, birds, a mountain, the sea, and fish. Now it's time to cross the bridge and venture deep into the island. The path through the jungle led to an abandoned campsite set up in the remains of an old village. Could this be where Harry's expedition stopped? Harry had to intervene in an argument between the islander and a member of his crew. The Polynesian man seems to be afraid of the rituals that took place in those ruins. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that everybody was mysteriously missing, this seems like it would be a perfect spot to set up camp. A Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not sure if he looks angry or scared. Well, what well? The guy doesn't want to be near the ruins. Why is he so afraid of that well? Well, well, well. So now you believe in magic, old pal? He gave one of these amulets to each of us. Only Harry kept his. Like, one of these? Or one of those? Okay. Interesting. So there's another hut over here. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. You know, as you do. Right. Okay. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ancient hatch, explosives here, detonator, nine and a half foot safe distance. I'm sorry, nine and a half foot safe distance with what well, looks like eight sticks of dynamite. Ooh, looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. Okay. This fella sounds pretty hot headed. Okay, July 14th, I came to this godforsaken island. For just a few days and it's been almost two weeks already of, n of doing nothing. Is this rich jerk going to open that hatch anytime soon? I'm not going to wait for Mr. Know-it-all again like I did with the elevator. He'd better let me handle this situation. We bought dynamite for a reason. Hot-headed indeed. I've never cared much for games of chance. These are some interesting dice. They're like playing cards but on dice. Oh boy. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. Well, somebody took theirs. Who worries this much about their appearance in a place like this? Maybe our hot-headed dynamite guy. T. Well, that's not a very good mirror. Oh wow. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. That bodes well. Very neat. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. To Roy, the best stuntman in Hollywood. That one has a kiss on it. <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. Was he in the uh, expedition photo? So we got Harry, heartbreaker, islander. I had to guess he's dynamite guy. Maybe he's hothead. No, dynamite guy is the hothead. I don't know what I'm doing. His real name was... Costas? Whose real name? Whose passport is this? Costas... Apostolu? Yeah, okay, the bear's address. Los Angeles. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, is that the- is that that guy? He has white hair. I don't know. All these white people look alike. Yeah, that has to be Costas. There was a plan behind Harry's back to blow up the ancient- an ancient door with dynamite. Which seems like the ancient door was on top of this thing. So I need to find whatever's missing, whatever the missing piece is. Oh, damn it. Someone on the expedition died. How? Oh. Roy Granger. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. A farewell message from a friend. Guess we will have to finish our game in the afterlife. Rest in peace, Pally. That's unfortunate. Wow, a lot of dynamite. Did they use all the dynamite? 
That's, Explosives. Looks dangerous. That's a lot of dynamite. That's just a hundred pounds right there. That's crazy. That's all gone. What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the medical tent up on the flat outcrop. After what happened, I'd better find out more about the... Well, oh, more about the well. I'm sorry, the, the way that that's broken up does not represent this. Okay, so it looks like it started out, I need, and he scratched it. If anyone needs me, I'll be up in the medical tent on top of the flat outcrop. After the explosion scratched out what happened, I'd better find out more about the well, which is circled. Dr. DeWitt. So it looks like they did try to blow the top. Oh, oh, hello, hello. They used the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. Okay. All right, so Roy Granger, a member of Harry's expedition, died. We got more, more of that stuff. Okay. Okay, let's go visit this direction of I the island. I haven't been island. close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. I thought it was nothing at first. Interesting, so... Mom died. The river cuts through that canyon. It doesn't look safe to cross. Right. The so mom died, and then the weird spots appeared. Oh! Oh! An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents balance and protection. Okay. <laughs> look at this little fellow. Yeah, those are the, uh... Those were the things on the dooly do, right? I saw a picture of these. And it was the one that mentioned the amulet and only Harry kept his. Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? I bet this is where the Polynesian guy slept. Okay, so where is this well that everybody keeps talking about? Go off into this direction. Up toward the what in the world? There's like a fish that the waterfall is coming out of. Four huts up on top of the hill. Oh, I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. Wow, just look at that view though. That's beautiful. I'm starting to regret leaving my uh, luggage in the look boat. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Hmm. Icor? Quack Icor? Quack ooze. That's what she said, right? Icor? Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Yeah, Icor. That's not entirely helpful. Okay, interesting. Icor was like the blood of the gods, right? In Greek mythology. For whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. Mr. Everhart, I still I'll throw that up for for the for the audience. Because I love you guys. I still don't understand what happened. Roy knew just as well as you and me that the black ooze was highly volatile. I should never have believed him when he said he had your permission. I feel responsible for what happened, Frank. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I, that's what I just said, Nora. Don't stop copying me. Considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. So it remains from old civilization related to disease. More drawings. Yeah, I mean, I know it's an elevator. That's obvious just from looking at it. Okay. He put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. What is this? Where did you get this strange device, Harry? Tilling gas spectacles lens aligner? Can't really click on okay. Hello. Uh yeah. So of course we've we've got the uh the, the lens aligner here. Um Oh. Interesting. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works, or what to do with it. The Harry of a heart I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. This is so frustrating. I know I'm close, but 
I can't find the right combination. Black ooze in a telescope? Okay, so it looks like this black ooze stuff, which is highly volatile and led to Roy's death, when placed on a lens in just the right way and then put into a telescope, produces some sort of desirable result. Other planes of existence. That's bats. What? An unsurpassed technological device from every point of view. After a specific alignment, this device concentrates the resonance wave spectrum in an optical impression. Observing the lens will affect the subject's pineal gland, allowing them to gaze into other planes of reality outside the spectrum we consider our dimension. The Type B machine. That's, uh... Some interesting fire you're playing with there, Harry. This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Tell the others to pack up as fast as they can. We have to get to the Black Sand Beach. Something's happened to the ship. Bring only what's indispensable. Why Why would ship be circled? Oh, hey! Something's missing here. Yeah. Jeepers, a stranded ship. Oh, interesting. Okay. And I don't make any kind of shadow. That's to be expected, I guess. Did I just break the seal on this letter? My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Lord. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. Hmm. And I miss you too, Harry. Looking through the telescope, I saw a ship stranded on a black beach on the other side of the island. That must be the Lady Shannon, the ship that took the ex expedition here. So I'm, I guess that was Roy. Because when I picked up the passport, she said, oh, his real name was such and such. So what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, so what? I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to that at some point. Okay, so I guess I'm up here, and so that goes down into the village below. That's where Roy is buried, and that goes up to the ruins. Have I found the thing yet? It's been ripped out of something else. Oh. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Well, this I can work with. So we got that goes together, I think. Yes. Let's see. That's this corner. Okay. Does that go there, maybe? Family? There we go. Got it. There we go. So, family symbols. They seem to represent sea creatures. The order of the symbols is important. What is the connection with each tiki? Okay, so that looks like a sea turtle, a fish, like a manta ray, and some kind of octopus creature. I'm just gonna say it. That kind of looks like Cthulhu. Okay. Oh! How did I miss this before? Of the tiki on this column seem movable. Okay, well, I saw... Okay, yeah, so that's the manta ray. Oh, I wonder if these have to do with the, uh, with, with the huts. I mean, of course they do. What about the tikis? So what is this? Because it looks like there's more to this hut. Like, is there something behind this wall? What is that? What mess did you get into, Harry? Mr. Everhart, we deeply regret 
your refusal to accept our funding for your expedition. We have always had an excellent relationship with your family, and we really considered this venture a unique and profitable opportunity for both parties. We wish you the best of luck on your journey. You surely are going to need it. Yours sincerely, Caleb Brown, the Starry Wisdom Society. Okay. Well, one nice thing about video games is that you can keep it a golden hour for as long as you want. Okay, there's gotta be like another tiki that I'm missing. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a bridge down here and a ladder to go down. Cross until the drawbridge is lowered. Right. So that. I, th I believe that was on the map, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So there's the drawbridge. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five huts. And it looks like space for four tiki's on here. And there are four of these things, but I haven't found all of them. Harry hated asking his parents for money to fund this expedition. The Everhearts are a wealthy Boston family, quite old-fashioned. They were never really pleased with his eldest marrying a middle-class girl. That's why he wanted to get away from them as soon as he could, just like his siblings did after him. Okay, so were these the three tikis that I got marked down? Did I get this one? They're composed of four pieces. Okay, so that was the fourth one. Okay, I got that one. Okay, so here's Cthulhu. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? Yeah, something like that. Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Okay, so this... Hold up, so which one was up in the place? Okay, so Cthulhu is next to the Tiki that's like doing this. And then the missing one is next to the Tiki doing this. And then the Manta Ray was next to the Tiki doing this bit. And then this one doesn't seem to have one of those things. Something's missing here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy going... Those look like fins or something, not hands. So Dr. DeWitt was... So Dr. DeWitt was next to this guy with a missing thing. And that's also where the dynamite was capped and where Roy is buried. Which Roy, I believe, stayed in the hut with the manta ray and the guy with the tongue. Oh, and Roy was the hothead with the explosives. Yeah. And his real name was Costas. Okay, so that was Roy. And he was the one with all the guns. Okay, this is starting to come together. This is starting to come together. So, the one with the missing thing and the open mouth Kiki. This was the woman, I think? Because she had the recorder here. And I guess she she might have been their photographer too. That looks like Roy. That's Harry. That's the Islander. So he's warning us about those ruins. Okay. So then what about the the Cthulhu one was just storage, I guess? Bunch of crates. So there were six expedition members. Four huts. Five huts, actually, if you include Harry's up top. Did I see a missing one somewhere? Like a, a missing sigil thing, coat of arms, whatever you want to call it. This one doesn't have one. So that looks like it was removed from... Oh gosh. <laughs> I need to take actual notes or something. Okay, so this... So we'll try to do this guy. We'll do that. Not these eyes, but those eyes that mouth, and those arms. Okay, that didn't do anything. Well, let's, let's see. Did that... It's the same. That's all lined up. And this one is all lined up. Oh! Okay, I got it. I gotta go check again. Make sure that I remember which is correlated with which. Cthulhu corresponds with the the crossed squid arms. I'm assuming that's the sea turtle. Corresponds with the little shield with the arms just kind of dangling. And the manta ray is the tongue sticking out. And then the missing one, which should be the fish, is the, the fins. 
Okay, so it's the sea turtle was the shield. So I'll put those on the top. Then we got the fish was the fins. So we'll put those eyes next. Then the manta ray was with the tongue. So we'll put you. And then Cthulhu with the tentacles. Hey! Secret compartment. Secret compartment! And I can't... How do I... Oh. I need to click on the little symbol. Okay. This isn't creepy at all. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. Oh, it's the... Is, uh, disturbing. Is that the black ooze? Well, that's disturbing that it feels disturbing. It's like a suit of armor. This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? I do not know. Oh, well, I got the, uh... Got the thing that lets me go up to the top of the deal. Okay, let's see what this thing does. I mean, it's obviously how, an elevator. How is that possible? What fascinating technology. Going up. Oh, oh my. Yeah, Polynesians did not build this. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Oh you dummy, somebody blew it up. Whoa. And there's the plunger. I better not touch it. But given what happened, they shouldn't have either. Okay, so what's over here in this tent? That black ooze again. Okay, so July 14th. That imbecile Roy blew the hatch to smithereens and blew himself up with it. Don't worry, Doc. I have Mr. Everhart's okay. And this is just a controlled detonation. Ha! Three feet closer and I wouldn't be here to tell the story. I got splashed with that black ooze and took me the whole damn evening to clean it off. So is this the doctor? July 15th. Skin alterations. Like... like the ones on my hands. Skin alterations appeared on my left hand today. Similar to angiomas, allergic ex eczema, cyanosis? Let's hope not. I took some samples of my blood to analyze. Ask for the photo of Everhart's wife's hand. Okay, this does not look good. July 17th. The spots on my skin are moving. I can feel them. I can feel them. Is there someone in the well? The well well? I can hear voices at night. What? What? In fact, I could swear they're calling my name. And who's playing that music? Okay. Interesting. Those might have something to do with the lens. I would imagine that anything to do with the lens would probably go into my notes here if I could find it out. Okay, got a lot of a lot more stuff here. Harry managed to save the tiki puzzle and opened a secret compartment inside the chieftain's hut. That's where he kept his ritual garments and a strange stone block. Touching it made me feel uneasy. I used the stone block from the secret compartment to activate some sort of ancient elevator. This gunk that many of the crew members refer to as black ooze seems to gurgle in the cracks in the stone. I found a shocking scene atop the cliff. An explosion tore open an ancient stone hatch, burning most of the rocky outcrop around it. Is this what killed Roy? The crew's doctor was spattered with the black ooze during the explosion that killed Roy. He developed marks on his arms like mine and started acting strangely. Okay, that's not... that's not good. Cripes! This man was splashed with that black liquid. Okay, that's the doctor in the white suit there. Wow. Whoever it... took this picture must have a really cool head. Those spots look all too familiar. That's July 15, left hand photo. Is this a picture of my hand? Oh yeah, because he, he asked to see a picture of her hand. To compare them. Erythrocytes. Hmm. Aren't those red blood cells? I don't know. Undefined substance. Pulsating, affecting erythrocytes. Oh, that's over my head. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess, where the doctor was set up. Heavens. He's losing his mind. Slop. Kinji. Slop. 18... That says 1889. This says 1879. This isn't perfect. Stop playing that music. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I like it very much. Okay. You, you know, as you do. As you Ugh, do. I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. Reminds me of my illness. So what's, uh, what's down in the... 
Creepy hole. Structure a hatch of some sort. Well then, I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Going down. Is somebody whispering? Hello? I was about to say, Anyone I can down? almost hear whispering. This eye. Is it calling to me? What in the world? I feel disoriented down here. I can press these star shaped tiles. Okay. Were these eyes related to the ritual? What was the ritual? Do they have two pupils? I almost feel as if they're watching me. I mean, they probably are. Another eye. Ah, uh, I hear whispering. Are these ornamental? Or something else? Can I press it again? Yeah, okay. So there's some sort of puzzle here. Okay, so it wrote down two of the eyes. Huh. Oh, hello. You were close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. Rituals? Other realities? Forgotten civilization, not Polynesian. Black ooze used to replicate ritual. Check tilling gas pamphlet. This replicate looks like ritual. Job by handyman Harry. Modify tilling gas invention. It looks like a little black dot over the eye. Okay. Maybe he heard the whispers too. Mr. Everhart, the doctor's been acting like an oddball ever since he was splashed with that black ooze, and it's got worse after moving to the top of the cliff. Keep an eye on him. Frank. So I think each character probably has a different stationery that they ride on. Interesting, it looks like priests of some kind. Okay. So priests of some kind putting, I'm guessing that's the black ooze, into the eyes of victims? Huh. And then that takes down that drawbridge. Well, that was easy. Okay, so... So did he put that black ooze into his own eye? Or just onto the lens? Okay, so the two that were oozing and whispering are the two that I wrote in my journal. Okay, let's go replicate those on the lens. No, I'm not putting that stuff in my eye. That's crazy. Should save some time. So how did Nora get affected with this black ooze stuff? And why is it not making her crazy like the doctor? At least I'm assuming that's what's going on. So we're gonna do one down here, I guess. And another one... Like right there? Or is it over here maybe more? No, I think it's two. Is that right? I don't know, let's try it. I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works. Or what to do with it. Can I take the thing off? How do I... I'm guessing that's not right. Okay, um, can I make that bigger? And then we'll make that one bigger. And they're too close. I think that one's not here. Try that maybe? So how do I, how do I take it off when I'm done with it? Okay, we're gonna try the other one. Cause that's not working. So it looks like dead center will do two. And then above it will do one. Can I can I take that off of the how do I I'm not really sure how this thingamajig works or what to do with it. Yeah, how do I how do I take the lens? The only things I can interact with for these levers here and these buttons here. Can I just Okay, it said to look at the pamphlet. Adjustable outside revolving shutter makeup. That's expensive! Especially in 1930s money? Holy cow! That's crazy! I'm gonna look up what the conversion rate there was. Okay, so that's actually a little less than I thought it was, because that comma is acting like a period would in, in America. I know that some other countries do it differently. Uh, like in German, they use a comma where we would use the period in long numbers. So that's actually $175, which 
In 2024 money would be four thousand and twenty three dollars and eighty three cents and that's without the telescope with the telescope we're looking at five thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars and sixty four cents so that's a pretty pricey machine right there but how do I grab how do I grab the lens how do, how do I take it one eternity later okay I can't figure out how that works I'm gonna look around in here again maybe that said to check the pamphlet which didn't really have much going on yeah I mean I don't know modify tealing gas invention how do I and what is this puzzle and like, what is going on here wait was that oozing before I hear it I'd, I'd better draw it just in case oh okay there's another one okay oh, the whispering it it stopped was I imagining all that? I don't know. Okay, I, I don't even have the slightest idea how how to do this puzzle yet, so I will come back to it. Okay, so let's try doing this one. So it looks like all the way over to the side and down to the middle. And then over here, up to there maybe? That looks right. I can't take it off of the thing. What in the world? Let's try this. I have no idea that this is actually going to do anything, but down here and then over to like here, maybe. Oh. Yes, I think I solved it. Hello. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. Let's see. It fits. Whoa. What? What on earth? What is happening? Uh, I don't know. Have I seen that shape before? On one of the, like, Unus? My god. What? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? Stars. Stars. Hold up. Oh, wow. A lot, of, a lot of new journal information. So I climbed down into the well that Harry's crew blew open. A series of strange eyes were depicted on the walls. They were calling me, guiding me. Am I losing my mind? The crew's doctor was splattered with the ooze. I already read that. The murals tell a story of a ceremonial ritual involving the black ooze. Were they injecting it into their eyes? I'm not sure, but I think the islanders tried to imitate it. Harry tried to replicate the well ritual by tweaking his strange optical device, staining the lens with the black ooze. I don't think he ever achieved it, but I have. What I saw through that lens left me speechless. I get the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. Okay, well, I know where I'm going. Back to the strange star pattern at the bottom of the well. I don't know why, I've had this song stuck in my head this entire time, I just haven't been singing it. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Dun 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 And I'm having trouble remembering where it's from. Was it from an episode of Spongebob? Maybe? Oh, I hear boss music. Okay, right, so it looks like we start here. Then follow that to the here. Uh, then this one. Then that goes off to this one. And over here. All the way over here. Then it goes back to the center. And back out to here. Alright, looks like I solved it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll go around pressing random buttons, but here goes. Oh. Black ooze. Oh. No, no, no. What's Go to the ladder. What's happening? I, I'm feeling faint again. What just happened? The Everheart Expedition. You have completed Chapter 2. What? what? What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? I don't think so. This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. 
That looks like that little canyon with the river that you said you couldn't cross. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding. What is that? Is that- whoa. Whoa, that's like some sort of creature? Holy Moses, what- what is that creature on the horizon? I don't know, but it has fins on its head and it's absolutely ginormous. It's like the size of a mountain. What is that? Wait a moment, I- no, no, no! Wait, what? Oh dang. I I can breathe underwater. You can? What? That's not normal. Is that that black ooze? Okay. I have to get back. I I have to find well, What's out here in the open water? What is that? What kind of creature is this? Ah I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Wait, the giant creature on the horizon is gone. Is that the creature that was on the horizon? Uh, is there a way to get out of here? How do I, how do I leave? Hello? Help. Are his eyes following me? Okay, you know what? It's only a game. It's only a stupid game. I need to get a closer look. Yeah, because that's logical. <gasps> what in the world? Fins for hands. What is? Is she gonna wash up on the beach next to that ship? Okay, the black uh, beach. What, what happened? Oh, how did I get to this beach? Oh, I have a terrible headache. Uh, chapter three, the vanishing of the Lady Shannon. Okay, well, okay, I think I'm gonna call it right there. Uh, wow, this, this took a turn. <laughs> Starting to think that that uh, one symbol might have actually been Cthulhu. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. This is this is we're we're doing this. We're we're whew. bring on the Lovecraftian horror. If you like what you saw, please drop a like down below. Drop a comment to uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this this Lovecraftian adventure that we have found ourselves on. Uh, I will definitely be coming back for more. This has definitely got me intrigued. So please subscribe to stay tuned. Ring that bell so you don't miss the next episode. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.